Hello, it's Jasmine here with our usual fortnightly as the shop. Um, I'm just going to have to upload this chat off my phone because if I don't, I'm not going to upload it. Um, we are currently in the midst of Storm Sierra um, and I've been very lucky where the driver literally was dropping our stuff off and he was told to come back with the van because it's that windy outside. Um, so thank you as the driver for delivering my stuff because we're low on everything. Um, it's based on a family of four. I spend up to 100 to 120 pound per fortnight. That covers everything. This shop is around 90 pound, but I did send some substitutes back. So it's about ooh, 82, 83 pound. I sent back some bolter in one because I wanted the pink one. They gave me the lavender one. I sent back, oh, I wanted frozen mango because be I now make mango slushies here. Um, and they gave me a fruit salad frozen bag, sent that back. And there's something else. And also, there's another one that I should have sent back, the turkey, because the turkey sandwich meat has milk in it, so obviously my youngest can't have it. She can have the ham or the beef that tends to not have milk in it. So I'm going to have to get a refund for that as a bad substitute and go Iceland to grab some meat. But anywho, that's about it. I also, they had out of stock. Um, I bought some towels, I think in a previous video you've seen, some unicorn unicorn one they were selling them for like 90p so i tried to buy a whole bunch in plans to like you know give them away or something and they didn't have them in stock so that's it also this includes a couple items for my daughter's cooking class because um she's got food tech and she's making chicken uh salad it includes mango and grapes we said we don't want that but anywho i'll get into it as we go along the almond milk is back on sale three for three pounds so i got those we're doing well for almond milk because, um, another tangent, sorry. We've been struck with sickness for the past three weeks. I had chest infection, then tonsillitis. My youngest asthma has been really bad. And then my eldest had the vomiting bug and then she's been sick. So we've been on the cycle of sickness. So I've not been in the kitchen nowhere near as much. It's kind of been frozen off in the oven if we can eat. And most of the times we couldn't because we were just that sick. So we're kind of in stock of a lot of things and also out of stock of a lot of stuff but again i will let you know as we go along frozen veg um chips asda's got rid of their queen cooker online i don't know why i miss them they taste good chicken thighs i had a video where i've done curry chicken and i had to do it with chicken breast because again my silly brain because i've not been well enough in the right frame of mind i accidentally ordered chicken breast instead of chicken thighs so i done curry chicken with chicken breast it wasn't that bad it just doesn't taste the same to me it doesn't have that cooked down flavorful feeling we ate it you know what i mean so chicken thighs i think i've got two of those yep Popping chicken as uh, our frozen option. Chicken breast because my daughter's making um, chicken salad at school and it it calls for cooked chicken. So I'm going to use half of this bag and she's going to fry that up and then cool it down, ready for the next day. Um, pizza sauce, go to whole chicken, cabbage. This seeded bread, I absolutely love it. I was doing well with carbs, kind of went out the window because I literally didn't eat for two weeks. Not even exaggerating, literally, I lived off liquids. I lost the stone <laughs> because of it. Can't complain really because I was on this healthy kick losing weight journey. But because I went from the extreme of complete liquids to now eating salads, it's like my body's holding on to everything. <laughs> so, haven't gained the weight back, but my body's craving stuff. So, I have eaten a bit of carbs. And this is the bread that I love. White bread is good for bacon, rubbish stuff. You know, like eggy bread and bacon sandwiches bacon sandwiches just don't seem to be the same when you eat junk you want junk with it but this is a family favorite this is the kind of bread i make anyway but again time consuming don't have the energy so this is a fail safe because we've got half term coming up in the midst of the two week shop i always ordered extra eggs um we were doing a lot of baking yesterday so we're going to be doing a lot of baking today so eggs and not only that breakfast and stuff you know, you know half term when you have kids. You eat more than you usually do. So, yep, two lots of the free range eggs. Over here, noodles. Again, another lunch option for the kids. I'm not gonna lie, I've had, when I was finally eating salads, these saved a life because I didn't have the energy to cook chicken noodle soup. Not chicken noodle soup, chicken soup. Um, these, these sausage rolls are an alternative for my youngest. 
I love them because they are completely dairy free. There's no dairy in the pastry. So she tends to have this sandwiches or the new one, which is um, a calzone that I make. Because of my tonsillitis, I ordered some isolates. I forgot I have my isolate make. I could have made a bunch, but literally I was inhaling these. Um, so I just bought a pack. And I don't even need it now, but hey, no such thing as bad art too many ice lollies um salad tomatoes fish fingers again is another option for lunches peppers was not impressed my last shop as that gave me a green pepper and i specifically buy the sweet peppers don't put green peppers in a sweet pepper bag um pudding rice i normally buy the huge i think it's a three kilo one it's cheaper that way than buying these smaller ones but i just bought a smaller one this is another option again for my daughter when she takes on her sandwiches my youngest who's dairy free she likes to have a little pot of either yogurt rice pudding or chocolate chip pudding mayonnaise now as i'm not a fan of you they only showed up to these ingredients and it didn't show that it had milk so i thought we had a fail safe sadly not it was on sale for my daughter's again um chicken salad that she's making for school so sadly my youngest won't be able to eat it um but yeah it's normally like two three pound and it was on sale for a pound coriander again she needs for it my youngest birthday is coming up in a couple of weeks she's going to be eight can't accept it won't accept it so let's keep moving strawberry jam spring onions again for my Aldis um, food tech. Bacon, I thought because we're not putting the grapes and mango in, we can do bacon bits. I looked on Asda, they don't sell bacon bits. They did have cooked bacon. It was like three pound for like 60 grams. So I bought this pack of bacon I'm say, and I said to her, we'll just bake a piece off and that'll be your bacon bits. And that was only one pound 25. Two lots of the mango and apple smoothie. My youngest now loves hummus. So that's another option again for her lunches. Dairy free cheese, salad. No space because we ran out of washing up liquid again. That's how you know I was sick. I never like to run out of anything. So we've got a lot of pots on the stove, which is why we've got lack of space. This is the turkey meat I was telling you about, which is no use. Um, I love going to Ikea and getting their meatballs, but when I go to Ikea, I spend more than I need to. So these are like a good substitute in between. They taste really nice. Of course, Ikea's a better. Um, another substitute, my daughter has the Coco brand dairy-free yogurts. They gave these. We're just going to have to give it a go because if um, as there's pulling their trucks off the road, I don't really want to risk trying to go to a shop right now to buy anything. So... We're just sticking to those. That'll be fine for now. These yogurts, I love them. They're only like 80p and you get quite a lot. I don't even eat yogurts, but I've been eating these. Um, fruit, some grapes, cheese, another substitute. I buy Asda's mild cheese, um, cheddar because it's cheap and it's just cheese. So what's the problem? And they replaced it with this huge one. So, yeah, can't complain. Then milk for my eldest gingerbread i didn't need those i found out i have in my backup storage just make sure ones but oh well self raising flour oops press the microwave but it's whatever let me press it there we go brown sugar uh, i don't know why but it's there <laughs> apple juice these are the ones that i like there's no complaints everyone that comes around has them likes them crisps breadsticks to go with the hummus and just a side thing for my youngest and then on the floor Shouldn't put these together, <laughs> but oh well. <coughs> Sorry. It's bananas, apples, two cucumbers, another lot of apples, carrots, potatoes, Detail spray, the neuro, not the neurovirus, the corona. I'm always saying it wrong. <laughs> Corona's a drink, isn't it? <coughs> but anyway, I'm sure it's the corona. It's just, I feel like I'm, whatever. The, it says that Dettol kills it, so we got this. I bought one lot of soap. I'm obviously going to need to buy more than this with my next shop. This will last the store for the two weeks. Two lots of water, two lots of bleach, and my fabulous favourite, kitchen roll. No one seems to do kitchen roll as good as Asda's for the price that it is, and it lasts me two weeks, these, these four. So, yeah, can't complain. <coughs> sorry about that. If I keep pausing, it's because I'm having a coughing fit. I'm sorry. But anywho... That is our shop. Sorry if I spoke too quickly or didn't make any sense or the camera wasn't facing the right way. I just want to get this done and dusted because, you know, the usual. It's Sunday. Got to get ready for work and school. But luckily, I've only got one more week of work. Woohoo! Um, so, yes, hope you're all doing well. I plan to... <laughs> 
upload eventually what we eat in the week like I used used to do and um some lunch things that I do for my youngest but honestly just upload a shot of my phone is just the easiest way but anywho I hope you're all doing well please let me know how you're doing hope you're all safe and you're not out there trying to deal with storm sierra which i kind of love the name of um but yes i'm gonna put this away and i hope to see you in another one goodbye